welcome to the Hampton Inn and Suites Olympia Lacey. That's in Washington State, so we are south of Seattle and Tacoma. So here we go. We'll start as we always do with the door. We've got the eye hole here, so you can see who comes a calling, uh, who's knocking. And uh, it's got the cover here, which is nice, so that blocks out a big portion of the light that'll come through when you're trying to sleep, so that's good to have. Here's the fire evacuation plan. And a do not disturb sign. Not all hotels have those nowadays, so that's nice to see. And you've got the two secondary locking mechanisms. This is a deadbolt, and then you've got this guy that swings out here to block the door from opening too far. So nice and secure. And let's take a look. Let's uh, take a look here, sort of the bathroom. So we have a barn door here on the outside with a mirror on it. And generally speaking, barn doors kind of serve two purposes. One, it will cover here, but it's currently covering there. Let's see what's behind the barn door. And yes, there is something. Not much of a surprise there. And so we have an iron, some additional storage. We have hangers, a bag for laundry, a ironing board, and a little thing there to put your luggage on. So there you go, that's that side of the barn door. Now, this is an adjoining room, so if you did happen to book the next room, you could open this door. But if you didn't, fear not, look at all the security mechanisms. The deadbolt's already engaged and this is open, so it's been left in a very secure position. And the only way for this door to be used is if both sides disengage both locks on both sides. So, it's completely safe when you see something like this, don't worry, you're completely secure. That's just in case there was a large party that wanted to book two rooms and have them connecting. All right, so let's go check out the bathroom here. Okay, so we've got a pretty large mirror here, nice light up there. There is a mat that you can put down there for additional grip, so that's interesting. Don't always see that. It's actually kind of rare in Hilton properties, I find, or Hampton Inns. Two large towels, looks like four face cloths there. And we have this Zero face soap. And then just coming over here, we also have Zero body lotion. There is a night light that activates when the lights are out, so that's good if you need to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, don't want to turn on a full light, that might be enough for you. And this would activate the fan. which is nearly silent. So that's kind of nice. Fans and bathrooms can often be very loud. Now this is a Hilton owned property. Hampton Inn is part of the Hilton brand. And one thing that we've discovered from staying at many of these over the years is there's plenty of electrical outlets. We don't bother bringing our Tron power cube if we stay at Hilton properties on our entire journey. Uh, so that's the first free one. And you can count as we go along in the video and see how many you spot. All right, and so there is some Kleenex or facial tissue if you prefer the generic name for it. And here we have a hair dryer. Let's take a look at what kind of hair dryer we have. And it is a Con Air 1875. This is a relatively common one, but at least it's a brand name. Some hotels don't have the brand name hair dryer. So that's a little bit nicer than some of the other properties we've stayed at. So that's the hair dryer. You do not need to bring your own towels or your own hair dryer. They are provided. There's the sink there. It's actually a pretty small sink, but it looks like it would get the job done. Nice indicator here showing you hot and cold. That way, regardless of the language you speak, red is hot, blue is cold, everybody knows that. This is the thing you pull here to stop up the drain. There is some corrosion, I notice, on the drain plug there, but if you care about that, I mean, really, that's nitpicking. I really am not concerned. And then on this side here, we have extra toilet paper. Angel Soft Professional Series. And there is a waste basket there. So we come around this wall here. That's where that very quiet fan is. And here's your toilet. It's a basic toilet, simple flush, small bowl. So it's relatively efficient on its energy usage. We generally like when there are the two buttons so you can decide whether it's uh, solid waste or liquid to save water that way. But since there isn't that, at least it's a very small bowl. So that should be pretty energy efficient, water usage efficient. We appreciate that. We want to continue living on this planet for as long as possible. <laughs> Some toilet paper there. A little bit of art there. It's pretty common. We see that sort of thing all over the place. And over towards the shower, we have uh, the towel that you would put down on the floor so that you don't trace tons of water here and then have a wet floor to deal with. So you're going to want to take that and lay that down in front of the opening. When you step out, dry your feet on it so you don't get the the whole floor wet. And this is interesting because oftentimes we'll, when we do see these sorts of uh, rubber mats that will be in more of a bathtub, this is just a shower stall. This is not for baths. This is just for showers. 
And let's take a look. And again, we've got these zero brand shower gel, conditioner, and shampoo. Now that's interesting because in North America, generally speaking, we kept in, uh, encountering Neutrogena products. And so I'm starting to wonder if Hilton has ended their partnership with Neutrogena as we see these zero brands starting to appear more and more. That's kind of interesting. And so we've got a grab bar here, which I appreciate. Um, whether you're disabled or not, it's nice having that uh, like there just in case you kind of lose your footing or something with you know soap and shampoo and bare feet and stuff like that if you didn't use the rubber mat, for example. And let's take a look at the shower head. Now this is kind of crusty. This is not great. I mean, I will still use this and it's probably okay, but you've got a lot of build up here. What you, you know, the hotel, they get a bowl of like CLR or Simple Green or something, maybe mixed with water. They can hold it up there and then let it soak for a bit. And that'll probably take care of most of that build up. And so that's not great to see, um, but it's also interesting, the buildup is around here, but not on sort of the inner hole. So if I were to use this, I think I'd want the water coming through there rather than where the buildup is. So that's not fantastic. I mean, it's not in disrepair. It doesn't look like it's broken necessarily, but it is a little on the older side. It's showing its age. Uh, and I wish it was a little bit cleaner, but it's not too big of a deal. And here we have the control for the shower. And we have three hooks here, so you can hang maybe uh, the towels. One thing that I like to do is have the towel maybe here or here, so that when I end my shower, I can just kind of reach around and grab a towel before stepping out into the colder air, uh, and then I can dry myself off so that cold air isn't so much a shock to the system. So that's just a piece of advice before your shower, maybe move a towel so that it's a little bit more accessible near to the shower stall. All right, let's head into the main compartment of the room here. Oh, look, there's another outlet. Add two more to your total, so that would put us at three. Another outlet back there, if you can spot that, it puts us at four. Oh, wait, more outlets here. Two three prongs and two USBs. So that would be four, five, six, seven, eight outlets. <laughs> And so we've got a couple ottomans here that they're on wheels, so they move very easily. This is pretty common. You can put your luggage here, but I think you should use the actual luggage rack for that because you don't want to damage or make these dirty at all. And the luggage rack is better for that. But if there are two people, two sets of luggage, then of course the second person might want to use one or both of the ottomans here. All right, we have... This is the air conditioner here. Let's get a little bit more light rock in here. So this is the air conditioner. It's currently set to 65 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, set to auto. It's on cool, and it's, it's nice and cool in the room. I like this temperature. It's a pretty good temperature. Um, so we have the light here that's bedside, and the nightstand, and again, two more USBs, two more three-prong outlets. Keep that total running. Let me know in the comments what the total is that you come up with. I'm gonna stop counting for you. Now it's up to you. All right. And this is a king bed configuration room, so here's a look at the king bed. There we go. Let's take a look at this uh, nightstand side here. This is a little bit different. Turn on that light. So here we have the phone. And that's where we are, the Hampton Inn and in Suites by Hilton on Martin Way East in Olympia, Washington. This is room number 410. So you got a, a phone right by the bedside. You've got a USB outlet. You've got a three prong, a three prong <laughs> on the lamp here. And down here is where they put the clock, which is kind of interesting. Generally the clock is on the top. It's not that often that it's kind of down here. And there is the dimmer, so you can control how bright that is when you're sleeping, because if it's too bright, you don't want that keeping you up. You can set an alarm, but generally speaking, there won't be an alarm already set. You can also just pull this forward, and here's some instructions on the top for how you can set the alarm. I do like that dimmer button. Not all hotels have that, but Hilton, it's a standard staple. It's got a nice headboard there. And over here, we have the TV. The TV is an LG. It's got a remote there and sort of a Welcome, my team and I are thrilled to have you staying with us. Whether you're here for business or leisure, we want you to be comfortable and enjoy your experience. If you have any questions or concerns during your stay, do not hesitate to reach out to me or my assistant, GM. If you're staying with us more than one night, housekeeping will service your room every second day. If you do not require more frequent service, please contact the front desk. If you do want service at all, our housekeeping staff will still need to access your room every four days for your safety and the safety of other guests. It's kind of interesting phrasing, the safety. Toiletries and bath linens are available as needed. Assigned to the general manager. And so this is a pretty nice TV. It's a pretty small bezel, so it seems like it's pretty new. Let's see what kind of connections we got. For those of you who like to bring your own devices, uh, there is a USB connection. There is a RGB PC connection. We have component AV in and cable antenna 
that's interesting. Um, I'm not seeing HDMI. <laughs> I mean, there is the HDMI that's currently used. I'm just saying there's no available HDMI port. So what you'll be watching will probably be in HD, uh, but you might not be able to hook up your own HD device. We generally recommend not disconnecting what's already there, but I mean, that's a decision you might make for yourself. And here we have sort of the little coffee maker and the coffee accoutrement, which would include cups and, you know, sleeves, blends, stir sticks, napkins, things of that nature. Pretty common. All right, let's take a look down here. We have our microwave, and there is your ice bucket with a bin liner inside. And this pulls out, and it's got sort of a tray that you can use as well. That's kind of nice. And so that's an Avanti microwave that they have, and here is the fridge. It's a Danby fridge. And pretty standard size for a hotel, kind of a bar fridge sort of dealy. Um, that's gonna be plenty to suit our needs. And let's check over here. Here we have a Bible, probably placed by the Gideons. Yep, that's placed by the Gideons. And some extra linens, if you were so inclined, in these trays that they do pull out. So that's kind of nice. Another waste basket there. Here's a chair, and we've got another lamp. Let's add a little bit more light to the situation. And you'll notice another plug. But wait, that's not all. Whoosh, over here, another three prong, two more USBs, and another three prong. God, I love it. Holton, they've got so much power. Uh, available, which is so great because I mean we film when we travel, so we got a lot of a lot more electronics than your average uh, person. And uh, we got a mirror there at the desk with the chair, so that's kind of nice if you need to do some business or maybe that can be a place where you can have a snack. There's this lounge chair over here with this cool like over the side table, so you can put your food or your laptop or a book or whatever it is while you're kind of lounging there, possibly while watching the TV. So that's kind of nice. I, I like that quite a bit. Uh, and of course there's a lamp here. And turn that on, and oh look, another available outlet. How's that total going? Are you keeping score? Don't forget to comment at the bottom how many outlets there were total that you counted. All right, let's check. Here, we've got the air conditioner, which is going. Let's give that a listen so you can hear how loud it is. That's actually pretty quiet. Uh, it's not totally silent, but it is pretty quiet. I like that. And it is putting out quite a lot of cool air, which I appreciate because I run a little hot myself. And so here we have the sort of the privacy sheer uh, drape. And then there is the blackout shade that you can lower here. Let's take a look at the view for this particular room. Uh, a lot of cars, you can look at the parking lot, there's trees, not a whole lot to see here. Uh, it's the front entrance there, but that's fine. We didn't really come for the view. All right, I don't imagine there's anything behind these curtains because that wall is pretty thin, no. So there you have it. Stay tuned where we'll show you other parts of the hotel, including breakfast and more. So thanks so much for watching. If you find this useful at all, please give us a like, a thumbs up. That actually helps us. It tells us what kind of videos you want to see. We can do more reviews like this one, and it also helps other people discover the video. So pay it forward. Share the video. If you're planning on coming here with a friend, you can let the friends see and know what they can expect. And let me know in the comments, what do you think? Does this seem like a nice place to stay? Would you stay here? What do you think would keep you from staying here? Is that shower head issue just too much for you or would you care? Let me know in the comments, curious what your priorities are when you stay at a hotel. So thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Pump it up, pump it up, pump it up, pump it up.